welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be doing some squiggling, some drawing, um, and I'd like for you guys to do it with me because what we're doing is, of course, we're lowering our brain waves to alpha, and then I will have you study um, a piece of art for a few seconds, it's not a long time, for a few seconds, in order to activate our visual cortex, which is in our brain. The visual cortex is what brings into our brain an image that the brain then um, deciphers what the image is. So <clears throat> that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go like one step further with alpha and into the visual cortex. And alpha helps your body relax so that you can do these exercises. And you can use alpha anywhere. You can also use the exercise of opening up your, or activating your visual cortex anywhere too. So they're, they're a little different, but similar. They're both with the brain. And they say, research says that when you use the visual cortex and you're activating that, that it's like um, an exercise for the brain. It's like calisthenics for the brain, which is very good. Um, and it's, it's fun and you get it by either doing the art or studying a piece of art. Um, of course I do both <laughs> and you can too, you can too. But we're going to talk about that a little bit and about um, the relaxation in doing all of these things that I'm teaching you. I mean, that is my main purpose at this point, is to give you tools that you can relax anywhere. And it's a natural thing to do because the brain does all these things anyway. It's just by teaching you how to recognize what's going on with your brain, then you can um, control that and you can control how you're thinking. So anyway, that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to actually color a piece of art. And if you have um, a coloring book or just a piece of paper and some colored pencils, whatever you want to do, um, I, I'd, I'd like for you to do that if you can. And if you can't, if you're in a spot where you can't do that, then if you can watch me do what I do, then you will activate the visual cortex. Okay, so here we go. This painting is the first painting I ever did when I was 11 years old. And I thought that we'd use a landscape today and what I would like you to do is just allow your eye to lead you. Allow your eyes to go where they want to go, whatever they pick up to look at first, and just follow it around the painting. This is using the visual cortex in your brain. You're activating it. So when you do this little exercise of looking at a piece of art, it can lower your brain waves already but it can also relax you. It's good for your brain because it can keep us sharp and cognizant all the way through old age. <laughs> and, and I would really like that to happen. So it's a very simple exercise, but it's doing this with your visual cortex. The visual cortex is what, uh, figures out what you're looking at and then tells your brain what it is. So it's a very simple thing and you do this all day long. So we're doing this and then we'll lower our brain waves to alpha. You can do this first before you start doing this and then lower your brain waves. But I wanted you to see the difference in how you feel after your brain waves are lowered and doing this little exercise. So I'm gonna be quiet for about, oh, 10, 20 seconds, and then we'll go into alpha. A 
Okay, let's go into alpha. We'll take three deep breaths, going in through our nose and out through our mouth and saying down, down, down in a deeper voice. So here we go. Take a moment to see how you feel. After my mind going into alpha, my spine actually relaxed. I'm calm, I'm, I feel joy. I think looking at the painting also gives me a sense of joy. It's the combination of kind of knowing what you've done, that you're using your visual cortex and you've lowered your brain waves to alpha. So now we're gonna go do another exercise, which is actually doing some art. So let's go do that. And if you want, do a piece of art along with me, something simple. It can be um, scribbling with um, crayons or or colored pencils, or watercolor, or whatever you have on hand, you can use as long as it has color. And if you don't, and if you're not in a spot, you can do that. You can just watch me. Okay, this is a print of a drawing that I did a while back. And what I do with these, I'm uh, when I make prints from my original drawings, I color them. And most of the time I color them with um, colored pencils, but it takes too long to do that on a video like this. So I'm doing this one with um, acrylic, making it a wash with water, adding water to it. This is a bobcat, in case you couldn't tell, it's a bobcat. And so he's mainly brown And the ink gives him his pattern and, and shadowing and stuff. But if you're doing this along with me, I mean, you certainly can use any kind of watercolor or any kind of paint, but you can use crayons and um, colored pencils and felt tip colored felt tips or whatever you want to do to add the color. And the main thing is to get engaged and to get into the visual cortex of your brain through doing the art or watching me do the art.
just very relaxing, very relaxing. Let's see what a big difference the color makes. So next I'll put some color on the grass. So I'm using a really almost fluorescent -y green because the grass already has the black from the drawings to show up. I'm using acrylic again, but this time I'm not using water. I'm just letting the acrylic. Okay, so that's it on this. So activating the visual cortex in your brain is just another tool. It's another method. And it's um, really for brain health. It, it's <laughs> Like the, the little blurb I read at the beginning, it's like um, exercise for the brain and it can help you be remain cognizant until you're an elderly person. And that's a very good thing. It's such a simple thing to do. I mean, you can either do something like this, which I would recommend or study a piece of art for five, 10 minutes or so and let your visual cortex, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> excuse me, open up and grab onto it. So here's our bobcat in an acrylic frame. It's acrylic on the front and the back. This one is eight by 10 inches. Um, the smaller frames, I can put a drawing on each side the larger ones is only one is on I can't talk is only one side but that's okay so you guys enjoy your life enjoy each and every day and we'll see you in about a week bye bye for now